This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister in Birmingham Chambers. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. Post Brexit, the immigration rules have changed dramatically, and I thought I'd do a short video on those changes. In truth, the UK government has taken back control uh, of immigration, um, and there is no real parallel route, EU route, into the United Kingdom anymore, or there definitely won't be after the 30th of June 2021. Free movement, therefore, is effectively out. Long gone are the days where someone could just buy a ticket, come here, get a job, um, or look for a job. Anyway, back to the changes. The 1st of January 2021 saw sweeping changes to the immigration system um, post-Brexit. These mainly affect EU and EA family members. They, they are written in a way which makes it look like EU, the EU members are getting something, when in reality they're losing something. There are a lot of changes and I'll be doing a number of videos, but I'm going to highlight the major changes now. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me about your immigration status or any problems you have. Firstly, as I've touched upon, we no longer have free movement for EU nationals um, and their family members. And in that I include Swiss, but I'm not going to keep saying Swiss because you'll be bored or think of cheese. However, EU, EA and Swiss nationals will be able to upload their biometric uh, details by smartphone, while non-EU uh, members uh, or uh, nationals will have, still have to have their fingerprints taken. So there is some slight benefit to being in the EU. The Tier 2 Worker System scheme has now been extended to cover EU citizens. They will now need a Tier 2 sponsor. I can help them get a sponsor. Previously, they could just get a job. Um, the job will need to be at RQF Level 3, uh, A Level or above, there is a, an English language requirement and a minimum salary. This is also important to note that there is no way of getting around the minimum salary. It's set at about 25,000 for normal jobs and about 20,000 for jobs on shortage list. Again, I can provide you with further details. The Home Office uh, have opened the, uh, the Global Talent Scheme to EU and EA family members, which allows scientists and researchers to come and work in the UK. Again, they could have done that anyway, but now they can't. Um, but perhaps of more importance is that the Tier 4 student system now applies to EU and EA family members. And so if they want to come and study in the United Kingdom, rather than buying a ticket, they now need to have a place offered on a course. They can uh, speak, read and write and understand English um, and have enough money to support and pay for yourself while you're in the United Kingdom. So they're being brought back in and treated as uh, non-EU nationals were treated previously. Some good news, which is probably very rare for me thing to say, is that in the points say system, it's now the new um, uh, graduate immigration route has been uh, will open this summer. It's the old PBS, and it allows international students who have completed a degree to work for two years or three years in the United Kingdom if they've done a PhD. You will be able to work or look for work in the UK at any skill level, as I say, for two years or up to three years if you graduated as a PhD. So there is some concession there. EU and other uh, uh, EA family members will be able to enter the United Kingdom as non-visa nationals without a visa for up to six months. Importantly, EU nationals who are living in the United Kingdom prior to these rules should not use a points-based system. They should use the EU settlement scheme, which that will get them status or pre-settled status. However, this closes on the 30th of June 2021, so make sure you act quickly because I'm getting a lot of people who've just sat on their hands and are now panicking. These are some of the major changes. Basically, um, it's putting EU and EA family members um, in the same group as non uh, as the rest of the world um, and, and treating them, uh, with the exception of treating them as non-visa nationals for visits. As I say, the only good news is the graduate route, which will allow people to work again for two years or up to three years in the UK past the, the end of their studies. That's something that we've had for years as the International Graduate Scheme. Then it was the, um, uh, the points based system, uh, post-study work visa. Um, but that's now been brought back, which is, uh, in my view, a very good thing. I will provide further and more detailed updates on the changes to the immigration rules. Um, as and when they come out or as and when I think they're particularly relevant. But if you have any queries about your immigration status, and they are, there are massive changes to people who are either EU nationals, family members of EU nationals, um, or, or you're just uncertain about anything, please get in touch with me um, and I will do whatever I can to help you.
Thank you very much for watching this video about these new changes to the immigration rules. I hope it's been somewhat informative. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.